All right, you may be familiar that a 100 CFT brake work contains 1350 number of brakes in it. But how? Why 1350 number of brakes in 100 CFT? So in this video, we'll be calculating and we will be determining the number of brakes in 100 CFT. And we will of course prove that how much number of brakes are required in 100 CFT, which will of course just satisfy that 1350 number of brakes are correct or not. Okay, so let's just go ahead. Let's say if we have 100 CFT brake work. So this is just the volume of the brake work. Okay, and now let's just suppose that the brake size that is just 9 inches times 4.5 inches and 3 inches. Okay, so this is just the perimeter. Okay, these are the parameters. Your country's brake size can be different, okay? Here in Pakistan, we have this size, which is of course not that standard, okay? There is some shortage, uh, you can say some, 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 some things less than these parameters. However, we take it 9 inches times 4.5 inches times 3 inches, okay? So this is the standard brake size over here in Pakistan, okay? You can take your country's bricks parameters does not matter now if you multiply these parameters you can get the break volume okay which is 121.5 cubic inches now you can also divide the parameters by 12 to convert these parameters into feet okay so we can have the volume of one break in cubic feet which is of course just the same thing is 0.0703125 cubic feet okay that's so simple now let's just assume that there is 10% cement mortar in the brick work. So we can calculate the net brick work without the mortar, okay? So the net brick work can be 100 CFT, which is actually the total brick work, and we will subtract 10% of it, okay? Like 10% can be actually 0.1 times 100, and that's just the same thing as 10. So 100 minus 10, that's actually 90 cubic feet okay so that's now the net brick work from this net brick work we can calculate the number of bricks okay having the same size okay so let's move ahead we can calculate the number of bricks we will just divide the net brick work which is 90 cubic feet by the volume of one brick okay so it can give us the number of bricks okay so simple that's of course just 1280 bricks However, 1280, that's not adjacent or just near to thoroughine family, okay? Because we have not included some contingencies like maybe the brick hedge, okay? We, we, we do, uh, you can say, have losses in the number of bricks because of maybe bricks uh, are broken on site, okay? Maybe uh, are stolen, okay? many things can happen so we can add contingencies of five percent okay for the number of breaks okay so the number of breaks can be now just the uh, 12 ad plus five percent okay so five percent of 12 ad that can be 64 12 ad plus 64 that is actually 1344 which we round it uh, uh, you can say to 13 February, okay, because we, we always bring extra, okay, so uh, you can say we demand extra, okay, so 1344, that's just near to 13 February, so we say, let's say 13 February number of breaks are required, okay, that means 13 February number of breaks are required for 100 CFT break work, that's so simple, this is how you prove it, okay, hey, if you like these types of videos, please hit that subscribe button, Press the bell icon so you never miss an update from the engineer boy.